Hey yo, welcome back to another video. We have the Voltone Invasion VEP from Bypass. I'm not sure who Voltone is, never heard the name before. However, I also listened to the Stains EP, and you know, I hadn't heard much Stains before that. I think one track, and I wasn't really paying much attention to it, it just kind of came on. Um, but then I listened to that Stains EP. That EP was a banger, you know? Bypass knows how to identify good releases, and they put out nothing but quality. So I'm excited for this. I hope you are too. I don't know what to expect. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and into it before we go ahead and get into it. Trying to do this in one take is very difficult. Before we get into it, if you want to see this video unedited all the way through with me listening and reacting to the EP, um, I don't do every video, but I will do this one. Then you can make sure to uh, check out the, the Patreon where I have some other um, uncut videos early videos and some exclusive videos as well as a whole other channel that's going to have content coming on there as well soon so for just four dollars you can go that extra mile to support me and it means the world to me and helps me a lot more than you realize we got lots of content here all the time always always holy shit it's zombies no i did not forget to get off of full cam um this was sent to me early but i can't show the screen because again it is early and you're not gonna be able to see this until after it's out of course now i think it is important to mention as well that this one i did listen to because i wanted to see how the uh the whole thing worked <laughs> with that email that i got to have it early and i accidentally started playing the song and then it just kept going for a while and i I got like through 40 seconds of it. And then I realized, oh, maybe it's just an intro track. And then I had to drop into it. But still, it's it's just an intro track. So, I mean, I don't have much to say about it, but it's a cool opener. Assuming the last track, Departure, which is a minute and 54 seconds, might also be kind of like this. Just like an outro track. I'm going to let it keep going. Yeah, see, it plays right into it. Now we have the real first track, Fatal Error. Oh, I remember this from the teaser. I didn't know which one this was. See, this is just a personal thing with me. I'm not a big fan of that snare. I'm not a big fan of those types of snares. But, you know, I get it. It's appropriate with the whole tone of this tune. Everything else about this is good. Where did that come from? Is this a bro step? Is this a step bro? I see this isn't fully my taste anymore i think I've, I've outgrown it over the years but there is there's a part of me that will still enjoy it it is good and i've i've already heard the teaser so i know there's a good variety in here so i'm i'm ready for that oh whoa i'm gonna cough <clears throat> oh my god that sounds dirty okay that part i was all for hold on we Oh, hell yeah. That was my favorite section. <laughs> if that would have been in it more, I probably would have enjoyed this one more. However, I do still love this. Don't get it twisted. Strong first track. Does this carry into the next one too? I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to... No. Not as much. Well, anyways, now we got Hostile. Oh yeah, I remember this one from the teaser too. This one is going to be an instant green heart when it's on Spotify. I already know it. Once it is... Ugh. See, this is more my style. The first the first track, oh, Fatal Error, is fire. I'm not downplaying that at all, but Hostile is more me. I love the little bit of melody still flowing through it. That kick clap, right? Kick snare, whatever. It's hot. I was gonna come up with something to compare it to, but I I can't think of anything. I, many things, an oven, hell. I, anyways, it, I like it. Ooh. Okay, despite what that look in the camera was, I don't hate that. That didn't ruin my enjoyment. I, I, was, I just wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it was good. I, I still like the whole song. Orbital Cannon. This one's short. Shorter than the outro. Not by much, but it is. I'm trying to remember what this one was from the teaser. Why is my mic so far away? Oh yeah, this one. Ooh. 
Pose. <coughs> it's got me choking on my own saliva. <laughs> have to be so short anymore. That orbital cannon and hostile are, are very close right now. They are. Whoa. Yeah. See, what I'm just amazed with so far is how. Find the right word. Come on. Come on. You've never been the best speaker. Find the right word. Is how cohesive this is sounding and how it all is blending together and sounds like one big project while still having a good blend of variety like it's not just like trap house hard style trance rhythm slash trench slash swamp dubstep you know i mean it's basically as far as these first four it's been pretty much just it's pretty much been dubstep the whole time but just like different styles of it just keeping it fresh and not redoing anything the entire time. Like, Invasion V, already kind of forgot it a little bit. <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of like trappy elements, but still, like, trap step, I guess you could say. Fatal Error is more like of a melodic bro step kind of drop. And then Hostile is the first one that really just packs a punch um, and still inter intertwines, you know, some melody in there while still just also hitting. Like those those low bases and then the claps are just there. And then Orbital Cannon, while being like the shortest tune and not having much like melody or stuff going on in between the drops, is just the heavy hitter of the EP, as far as I'm aware. I haven't heard High Roller or Departure yet. I rambled for a while. My bad. High Roller. Okay, I mentioned all of that about not being different genres. And then we kick this one off with a little bit of breakbeat. Oh, that's funky. Is this like mid tempo? Are we gonna get mid tempo? I don't even know if that's what it's called. Oh, that sounds a little housey. I wouldn't mind a obligatory house tune to go on the EP. Oh, that is not house. Maybe, what? maybe a style? Of, no, don't even get. Oh, I like that. Do it again. Kinda. That's sick. I'm into it. Oh, wow. Am I hearing things? There are like two snares. I, if so, I'm loving that. I love the double impact. So now we're on to Departure. I'm gonna let High Roller play out again because it sounded like it was about to lead into Departure. Outro, yeah? Yeah, we're on Departure now. It just did a really smooth transition over. Okay. So now we're on Departure, which I think is just an outro track. Sounds very cinematic. That was almost two minutes of just ambiance. Did I say the word right? I don't even know. That's a weird word, ambiance. Ambience? Ambience is awful. That sounded like I said ambulance. That was the Invasion V EP from Voltone. Listen, Voltone, you made an excellent first impression. I love tunes that do that. Kind of like cinematic, almost. Like when this comes out, I think the ones that will be in my likes probably be Orbital Cannon, Hostel, and departure the only reason they are not all going in here i got i got two overviews for you okay i got two overviews one is my personal taste and then another one is like just objectively what i think of the ep just looking at it all together without just my my own preference influencing what i think of it so my personal by my personal taste again like i said departure hostile over to canon only got a 3 out of 6, but I would still rate it high if I was to do that, like 8 out of 10. The objective overview that I have of it. Essentially, this is a perfect EP, especially for the track length. It's not it's not an Infect 9-track EP. It's not a Sudden Death 10-track EP. I would debate that those are albums, but whatever. It's just 6 tracks, which is a pretty common number for EPs and everything. But as I, as I mentioned when I was like halfway through the whole EP itself is that all of these 
keep the same genre, but just blended in different varieties and flavors the whole way through. And I love that. High Roller might have been a little bit different. Departure is more of an outro, outro track more than anything. But again, as I said, I, you can figure it out. You know what I mean? I just like that not every single one of them was a different genre. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but I just, I just like that it was all in the same genre and still sounded completely different. Like there, there wasn't, like I, I didn't really pick up on what Volt, Voltone's style is. Just that he's good. I, like I said, I just, I think it's a perfect EP. All that variety with the amount of tracks that it has, keeping it fresh in every single one of them and having different moods within them. Um, some being more more melodic, not full-blown melodic, and then some being heavier but not full-blown heavy. Still just staying on like the same wavelength. There's no high there's no high ups, there's no low downs. It's all just it maintains. It stays consistent. I love that. Yeah, overall, this was insanely good. And I I really recommend people listen to this to this EP more. I, I really want to see this EP start getting some love soon. I really, really want to see that. So if you enjoyed, uh, make sure to go check this out yourself. Link in the description to the Spotify link. Um, give this video a like. Comment your favorite track and what you thought on this, please. I would love to know, especially after everything I just rambled about. Um, make sure to share the video and the EP. Yeah, make sure to check out all the stuff I mentioned at, at the beginning. The shorts, the previous video. Stay tuned for the upcoming video, which for those who are wanting it, it will be part two of the Veggie Friends stuff. Remember though, if you want to see part three and four, those won't be up until March. Okay, but if you want to see them early, Patreon, $4, not that much. Plus a bunch of other stuff, it's not that much. $4 is a steal. Okay, anyways. Run it! Yeah.